Jason over here. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, 2011 is shortly upon us, so um, I hope it's a great one. Uh, 2010 was absolutely fantastic for me. Um, but before I start rambling, there's just uh, two things I really wanted to cover quickly. I filmed a vlog on Wednesday uh, where I unboxed this guy. is terrible. Uh, Buzz Lightyear. And his head popped off. That's excellent. So, um, Disney Pixar label, uh, Buzz Lightyear. He was really, really cool. Um, he's very tiny, but, um, Donald's still tinier. So, um, he's, he's really cool, but, um, I forgot to edit the vlog. Because after I started displaying all my Transformers in my room. So, um, didn't happen. So, <laughs> I'm showing that off now. Uh, and the other thing I did mention in that vlog is regarding these guys back here. Um, I probably won't be reviewing Transformers anymore. Um, at least not all of them. Um, I'll be reviewing this guy with his head. Um. Just because I, I did the other two uh, Disney label guys. So I want to go ahead and uh, do all three of them. But um, just looking at the Toku stuff I have lined up, um, which is basically all of the O's releases, uh, all figure art releases, um, the Dragonite Figmas, I'll be getting those. Um, and I, I, I do eventually want to get to those robot Namashis that I have sitting under my desk right now. Um, so, with, with all that in mind, um, there's just too much going on between all of that, plus, um, school starting back up for me on January 10th, um, I got games to play, um, friends, uh, job hunting, all that fun stuff, so, there's just so much to do that, uh, adding all of the Transformers that I have backlogged, um, would just be way too much. Um, if things sort of level out, I can probably do new releases as I get them. Um, but as for going back to the backlog, um, that probably just won't happen. So, um, if you're looking forward to any of those reviews, I apologize. But, um, there's Optibotomist, there's, um, JT Mitchell, uh, Pia, Evangelist. They all do absolutely fantastic Transformers reviews. Um... And mine don't get that many hits. Uh, most of my subscribers are Toku based. So, um, I just don't feel the real, real need to uh, take care of those things when you've got such great Transformers reviews established already. So, um, that's about all for that. That was mentioned in the last vlog. So, now for this one. Um, 2010. Um, I was reviewing for about half, of a, half a year ish. When uh, 2010 started, my face is very white. There we go. Uh, and I, I didn't know how 2010 was gonna go. Uh, no, I mean no one knows unless you're psychic. In which case, fuck you. But um, uh, I I just wanted to thank each and every one of my subscribers. I obviously can't thank you personally, but um, to to all of you that have subscribed to me. A, Big, big thanks for all of the support, all the encouragement, the advice, anything of the sort. I couldn't really be here without you guys. So, um, it, it means the world to me that, um, y'all support me like that. So, um, thanks a lot. Um, I'm at 18, about 1820 right now. So, let's hope that keeps climbing and... Um, just huge, huge thanks. Um, Fies Daniel, or Danielle, or something of the sort, uh, recommended I do a favorite figure art of 2010, or, uh, favorite, um, toy of 2010. I'm gonna do favorite toy, favorite transformer, and favorite figure art. So here we go. Okay, first up is figure arts. Um, obviously, I've 
that them all, which is kind of terrifying. But um, my favorite of 2010, um, just kind of browsing through the uh, the list here, there was a lot of really good 2010 releases. Um, Ultimate Kuga was pretty badass. Fang Joker, um, Gills, definitely Gills. Gills is made of wind. Axel was pretty good. Um, we've got the Dragon Ball guys. They were okay. Um, Hyper Kabuto, Kiva Emperor, Dark Kiva, Fies, um, Exceed Gills, even though I like normal Gills better than Exceed Gills. Um, so all really, really fantastic releases for 2010. Um, and I wanted to give it to Dark Kiva, but seeing as how Dark Kiva hasn't arrived at my doorstep yet, I don't know why, but it hasn't, um, I'm going to have to move the torch onto someone else, and I wanted to pick this guy. That's right, Ixa. Ixa came out in January of 2010, um, late in the month, and I don't know why I picked this, but Ixa was just one of those characters for me where... I loved the, the suit so much. I loved all the characters that played Ixa, most of them anyway, except for the... That didn't come out of my mouth right. Anyway, um, the armor is just absolutely sculpted to perfection. The head sculpt is great, both save mode and burst mode. Um, his weapon displays are phenomenal. Um, there's just very few flaws with this figure. Plus, he came with a personalized stand. That's always a plus in my book. So, despite this being one of the first releases of the year, it is probably my favorite release of the year. Because it was at that point where it kind of cemented my place in figure arts. I knew that I wanted to complete this line. Um, Ixa being pretty much like my favorite rider. Um, topped off with the fact that the figure was just so goddamn beautiful. That um, it was probably the, the biggest impactful figure art release this month. Or not this month, this year. Uh, so, I, I just had to pick, um, pick, uh, Ixa for this, so, surprise, surprise. Alright, so now moving on to Transformer of the Year. Um, I have to give my vote to this guy. Masterpiece Grimlock. Uh, Grimlock is, is a little bit of a pricey little fellow at, like, 60 or 70 dollars at Toys R Us. But uh, that's still much cheaper than the Japanese counterpart. And um, I'm even going to throw in both Japanese releases into this vote too because they're pretty much the same thing. Um, I was a huge Grimlock fan. He's my second favorite Transformer next to Bumblebee. And um, just getting a masterpiece version of Grimlock that's almost perfect. He was ruined a little bit by gimmicks in his arms and his waist and um, his head and all that. But um, putting that aside, uh, the... The detail is just terrific. Uh, the eye swapping is pretty cool. Um, his light up sword, his light up gun, uh, even the crown that I really could give two shits about is really cool. Um, transformations uh, intuitive and pretty fun, and just it's an all around excellent upgrade to G1 Grimlock. And if you're a Grimlock fan, I don't see why you wouldn't hunt this down. All right, now on to toy of the year. This is a very difficult category for me because it encompasses everything. I got a lot of shit in 2010. Um, Chibi Art Cyclone Joker is a really cool figure. Best toy of 2010? Hell no. But really cool. D Arts War Greymon, floppy left shoulder, but he's still cool. Um, there was a bunch of Kiwamis, there's a bunch of Transformers. Um, and I honestly can't pick a toy for 2010. Um, I want to see the O's driver, but I just don't dig the O's driver enough um, to really call it the must-have of 2010. Uh, Fang Joker came out in two or Fang Joker. The Fang Memory came out in 2009, so I can't vote for that one. Uh, and everything else is just kind of not as impactful. Prism Bicker is pretty cool, but um, overall, I can't really give a vote for 2000 or best toy of 2010. Because there's really, really just too much to um, to even consider. Just looking around the mess that I call a basement here. 
there's just so much going on that I don't really have the mind to pick a favorite toy of 2010. So, um, I'll leave it at that. If I absolutely had to pick something, I guess right now I would pick the Lost Driver just because it's almost the Double Driver. And the Double Driver is awesome. Excellent reasoning there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about all for that. Um, there really isn't any other lines that I collect that I can do a favorite of. Uh, my favorite Kiwami is this guy, because he's talking to the disc animal and saying, yo, um, stay, good job. Favorite game of 2010, that's really, really hard too, um, but I would have to give it to Super Mario Galaxy 2, just because it's fucking awesome. So yeah, uh, that's really about it for uh, this, and... Just, I hope everyone has a very fantastic 2011. Um, again, I want to thank everyone uh, for all of your support in 2010. Um, when I started this, I was about as shy as you could possibly imagine. And now I'm just all over the place. Podcast, website, this. Um, and it, it's had a very, very big impact on my life that I don't actually share too much. Um, but I just wanted to basically, again, say thanks to everyone for all the support, uh, and for helping me along this fairly life-changing experience. So, um, hope you have a great 2011, and for the last time in 2010, take care and have a great one. Bye.